Today you join me on my local river Waveney in a beautiful rural spot. Uh, during the winter months I fish for a lot of other species and chub are one of my favourites especially when the conditions are not very good which today we've got but they're an obliging species and I'm going to take you through a few things that I do to hopefully tempt a bite or two. So let's get down the river and trickle a little bit of bait in and see if they're hungry. First cast, a horrible wet day, and first cast, and we're in on the Waveney. Nice bit of stinky meat, and uh, I think it'd been out about two or three minutes. A couple of taps, and then it wrapped round. It's a nice hard fighting chub. It's only a small fish, but it's a great start to a day after a long walk. Lovely chubbly. Perfect hook, size six zig hook, a couple of little shots just to hold that stinky piece of meat in place. And uh, yeah, first cast, what a start. There we go, first one of the day, first cast made the walk worthwhile hopefully we'll get another bite or two but this one couldn't resist a piece of my cheesy garlic stinky meat lovely waveney chub in uh, top condition they're slipping back upstream and uh, have another recast I like to release the chub uh, upstream from where I've caught them just about 30 yards so they don't spook the rest the other thing that's important is to just give them a nice little rest in the edge Make sure he's nice and strong before you carefully let him go. And then we just let his off. Go on. Yep. Yeah, no, a real twitchy bite, but this one feels all right in the flow. They all feel nice when they get into the flow. It's trying to get me into the bank side cover. A real delicate bite. I had to let the bite develop a bit with this one. That big old mouth. Look at that. Yes. What a start. Look at this one. Oh, it's a lovely one. It's a beautiful chub, those. These beautiful chub don't have the easiest of lives nowadays in many of our rivers. You can see this one, he's probably survived an otter chomp on his lower lobe, but he's in, he's in beautiful condition and he's really plump.
I didn't quite explain where we were earlier, but we started at the top of the stretch at a weir pool. Uh, it's thrown it down with rain, so we were quite quickly up there with a brolly. Uh, two fish, great start, and then I had a bite which I missed, so not good. Uh, it fizzled out there, so we now moved down to our second swim. This one's a bit tighter, so I'm trying to be a little bit more stealthy. We're now going to position a nice stinky bit of cheese paste in there and see if there's a fish. Yep, yep. Good one. Sneaky, absolute savage. They're incredible. Dirty fighter. It's trying to do me in every snag. Big lump of smelly homemade cheese paste, which I'll, I'll explain the secret recipe. We're in. Oh, a lovely fish. Come on. Look at that one. <sighs> Savage. <laughs> that was a wicked bite, wasn't it? Did you see that? <sighs> Drowned rat. <laughs> oh. Excellent hook hold and these size six razor sharp zig hooks, perfect for the job. A beautiful fish, a very powerful. So, if you fancy a change from carp fishing in the winter, these are excellent fish to target. Hard fighting on the right gear, and uh, I, I love them this time of year. Brilliant fish. All I'm doing again is letting him recover. We've brought him upstream a little bit, pointing him into the flow, uh, let him just get his oxygen back and, and we can let him go. So he's nice and strong. There he goes. It's finally stopped raining, uh, so I've got my warm hat on. I'm just going to talk really briefly about the gear you need or I use for chub fishing. Uh, I suppose, first of all, this roving approach, you want to travel really light. So a light chair, uh, you also want to be comfortable. Wellies, waterproofs, you're going through ditches or marshy land. So just be warm and dry, uh, real basic stuff, but important. Uh, rod wise, Really, I mean, a nice feeder style rods uh, will do for this sort of fishing. But what I'll say is you want you don't want to be under gunned. So I'm actually using a nice barbel rod. It's got a through action and all I can. Luckily, it's a multi specialist sort of tip style rod. So I can just change the tip. So a, a two ounce tip is probably standard for, for this river and a lot of rivers. You don't really want to go too heavy. Uh, the fish might drop bait if they feel some resistance. It's also worth mentioning, like with the rods I use, the barbel star rods. Uh, for someone like myself who is, I do fish for everything nowadays, they suit tench, bream, eels, even perch on big pits. Uh, you can use them for so many species that, you know, I don't want a rod for every species, so I try and find something that can cover the whole lot. Perfect for chub. For the reel, I use a, a small bait runner. The EOS 7000 is absolutely perfect. I've got spare spools. Again, I can use it across the board for lots of species. A brilliant reel for floater fishing, for carp or stalking as well. I actually load it up for chub fishing. This is going to sound heavy with 10 pound line. It's only, uh, I think, 0.23, a nice supple line. But I'm fishing snaggy waters, undercuts, the chub will try and bully you into those snags. You're going to clip branches and what you don't want to do is leave tackle in the branches and you don't want to leave any tackle in a chub. So don't go too light for these fish. They're greedy, big baits, 
a nice hook i use a size six like a zig style hook it's really sharp and strong the rig i use for this mobile chubbing couldn't be any simpler it's usually a size six hook tied directly to the main line and then a little link that comes off it which will have my weight on the weight i use is just enough to hold bottom so i use weights i can quickly add or quickly take off uh, i can even put a little bomb on if i want it couldn't be any simpler Yep, this is why you've got the strong gear on. Yes. Well, we've bounced uh, through a couple of swims on the way back and uh, yeah, we finished on this lovely old one. Looks like a pike's grabbed hold of him, battle scarred, Waveney Chubb, uh, really happy, uh, stinky cheese paste. Lovely way to finish the day. In the winter, when it's cold, when it's hard, definitely give this a go. I uh, really, really recommend it. Absolutely love Chubb fishing. I hope you've enjoyed the little chub session. Back home for me now. Nice hot meal and to warm up and to dry out. <laughs> They try and do you in that margin every time. Well, I couldn't help have one more last, last cast uh, on the way back to the car. The swim looked too good and uh, I think this one's the best one of the day. Number five, uh, really happy, beautiful chub. And uh, yeah, let's get home now before uh, the missus gets on the phone to me.